Everybody has a favorite way to eat watermelon. So today, I'm not going to try to discourage you from that one. I'm going to increase your uh, repertoire, so to speak, uh, of what's available. What we're going to do is a tomato and watermelon salad. And I'm using those great yellow watermelons from the garden. Uh, but you could use red ones if you don't have the yellow. You could use, I'm using red tomatoes to give it some color contrast. You can use yellow. You can mix and match the colors, mix and match flavors. Uh, but this is what we're going to do. So I've got two tomatoes. Uh, large ones that I've just cut into six pieces uh, each or six slices and I've spread them out on a platter. If you wanted to serve them on individual dishes, just put three on each of the, of the salad plates that you've got. And then I'm going to make a little bit of a dressing. I've got four cups of, of melon that I have cut into bite-sized pieces. You don't want to make it too small or the juice is going to come out on you. Uh, so leave them fairly large. Uh, I tried to de-seed it, but there's still some hidden seeds there. And that just makes part of the eating experience with watermelon. Uh, the dressing, I've got two tablespoons of white balsamic vinegar and a tablespoon of olive oil a fourth of a teaspoon of kosher salt, and a fourth of a teaspoon of ground pepper. We're just going to stir these together well. You could try and, and uh, whisk them together if you want to, but uh, there's nothing really in here that's going to keep an emulsion in place. And these flavors are fine if you actually just wanted to sprinkle the salt and pepper over everything and, and uh, drizzle the vinegar and the oil over as well. So this is going to go over our melon. One of the nice things about yellow melon, it is, is sweeter than red melon uh, if you get equally ripe melons in both colors. The yellow one should be a little bit sweeter. The downside is, is that it doesn't have the lycopene because the lycopene is a red or pink pigment. And so you're going to find that in the red melons, but not so much, you'll, there'll be some, but not very much in the yellow melon. So there is that difference between the two. Also in here, I'm going to put in uh, about oh, three or four leaves that we've cut uh, fairly finely of basil. And stir this whole thing together. It doesn't have to sit very long. In fact, you wouldn't want it to sit very long because, again, you're going to lose the juice from it. The red melon also has a little bit more uh, vitamin C than the yellow melon does. So there is a difference between the two. Uh, but because we get so much of our lycopene from tomato products, probably 80 to 90 percent depending on the person, uh, the amount uh, that you're missing from eating a yellow melon is definitely not something you want to worry about. Choosing a food simply because you want to get more of a particular one nutrient is generally not the best way to approach uh, the diet. All right, there you go. This one's ready to go. I'm going to put a little bit of basil on top of it just for decoration. It's a watermelon and tomato salad. I hope you'll give it a try. It's really good, especially with these great yellow melons. For Oklahoma Gardening, I'm Barbara Brown. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.